The NEC coaches think that Central Connecticut is going to be improved this year, moving up two spots from where they were last year. Pat Sellers is the second year head coach of the Blue Devils, and Nigel Scantleberry, uh, senior point guard, joins us as well. 13 and a half points, three and a half rebounds, three and a half assists per game last season. And uh, guys, welcome to Newark. And uh, Pat, why do the coaches think that you guys are going to be better? Uh, thanks. First of all, thanks for having us. You know, I think they, they uh, down the stretch we played a lot better as a team. Uh, once we got our system implemented, Nigel and his teammates really picked it up, and we we had some really good games. And in, in the playoff game versus FEU, you know, we were losing our whole game, and, and we came down right down the end. Nigel made two big free throws, and made some big plays, and we 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 got a little taste of some conference tournament uh, excitement, and and it's going to carry over for us, I think. Well, um, we obviously know about Nigel. We'll talk to him in a second. Transfers have become so important. Kellen Amos, uh, I like him. I've seen him. You really like him. Talk to me about him and how these new guys are going to impact your program. Yeah, Kellen is a 6'7", kind of do-everything, athletic wing. Uh, he has a really good IQ. And again, I go back to Nigel and Andre Snotty, two of our, our veteran leaders. They've kind of taken him under his, under their wing, and they kind of got him into our system, and he understands our system. So, you know, the part of the game that really helps us is just his IQ. He helps us and his athleticism. So we're going to lean on him. Jay Rogers is another kid who transferred in from a junior college, coach he's junior college. He, uh, I coached his dad in China back in the day. So uh, he's a really good player. Can shoot it, put it down on the floor. You're getting old. I'm getting old. I'm getting old, Joe. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really excited about him. And then uh, Brody Limerick from Quinnipiac. Right. From Quinnipiac. He, he redshirted last year at Quinnipiac. But he has some good things for us, too. So those three guys are going to really, really be, be a big part of who we are this year. Nigel, obviously you have the ability to score it, but from the sound of it, uh, you have more targets, right, for passing. Yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like even like with our new guys coming in, you know, and, you know, from last year, everybody just growing up, like, you know, Day Day, Dre, uh, Joe, guys like that, JB, you know, it's easier to get those guys the ball because now they know the system a little bit more. They're a lot more comfortable. They make more plays. They knock down more shots. So it's a, it's a great step forward. So, so the season ended last year. You played one year under Coach Sellers. What what did you go out and try to improve in the offseason? Um, just being efficient. Um, you know, coach prides itself on, you know, efficiency of uh, defense as well. You know, I went home, you know, got better with my footwork, uh, a lot of things, you know. Coach get on me about, you know, not crossing my feet so much. So, you know, I, I honed in on things like that, finishing at the rim, you know, just anything that's going to make us efficient. I'm, I went back home and just got better at it. Well, we know Coach Sell is a defensive guy, but yeah. I did hear – through the grapevine that you guys are going to try and get out and run a little bit, which, yeah. which should yeah. really uh, help your game because yep, you're sure. you're unstoppable in a in a fast break situation. Yeah, sure. What do you think about that? I, I like it. Um, you know, especially you know, he kind of want you know the guards to pick up a little full court, and I, I'm, I'm I'm excited about that because I like you know getting in the guys, you know, playing defense and then getting out, you know, transition team. You know, we got Kellen, Dre, uh, J Rod, uh, J B. You know, a lot of high flyers, so it's, it's going to be interesting, really interesting. Coach, you and I chatted earlier, and you're like Johnny Cash. You've been everywhere, man, right? You've been to a lot of different uh, schools. Uh, you long wonder why I always dress in black. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know I was a Johnny Cash. <laughs> I'm a huge Johnny Cash fan. <laughs> so you're going to have him walk on the line this year, right? You're, no. Walking the line. <laughs> um, <laughs> what did you learn in your first year as a head coach last year after you know a lot of years as a top assistant at places like you know Creighton and a lot of top programs you know uh, early on I took for granted the teaching part of it you have to teach very be very detailed when you're teaching so we got to teach guys footwork with hand placement how we're going to move where we're going to go how we're going to do things certain things so the teaching aspect was a big part of it for me and the other part is just day-to-day -day communication with the guys and not basketball it's about life, you know, getting to know these guys, getting a better feel for these guys, because you know you, you you're together 24/7, six seven months out of the year. You gotta have a relationship with your guys. So if you want them to play hard for your for your team and your program, you're gonna have to have a relationship with those guys. Well, it seems like you're gonna have an exciting team. We look forward to uh, checking out the Blue Devils this year. Good luck. Thank, Thank you, you guys so very much. Yeah, we appreciate you. it. 
Okay, interact with us on social media. You can follow us at NEC Sports, hashtag NEC at the Prue. We'll be back at Prudential Center in just a second with the FDU Knights.